the heritage of coastal Maine and New Brunswick, offer the curious traveler a great opportunity to explore and discover the history and traditions of this remarkable part of Maine and New Brunswick, Canada. Discover the bucolic island of Campobello, made famous as the summer home of Franklin D. Roosevelt and his family. Marvel at the natural beauty of Maine's Acadia National Park, where there's evidence of Native American encampments and awesome visas that attracted artists of the Hudson River School. Bar Harbor is more than a summer resort town. It's the hub of Maine's lobster industry and home to the Abbey Museum that celebrates Native American heritage, traditions, and archeology. span St. Andrews by the Sea, a charming town today, was once a British garrison town made famous after the American Revolution as an important British and American trading center. I'm Joe Small, and it's my great fortune to be president of AHI Travel. I'm privileged to work alongside talented brothers Rick and Brian, this dynamic family business that has enjoyed professional distinction and alumni travel for more than 50 years. Here at AHI, we see travel as enriching life's great adventure, and we are motivated to deliver remarkable travel experiences that contribute to the rich fabric of lifelong learning. During your journey, you'll enjoy the vibrant core of Down East culture and the charm and heritage of this remarkable and beautiful region of the U.S. During your visit, you'll make new friends while enjoying planned activities and escorted excursions that focus on the heritage and beauty of Bar Harbor, Acadia National Park, Campobello Island, and St. Andrews by the Sea. Join us on this exciting journey with 28 curious travelers to discover coastal Maine and New Brunswick, both rich with opportunities to explore, learn, and enjoy. It's my pleasure to introduce Mick Pluman, a true AHI travel professional who will guide us as we explore this unique travel experience. Mick has been a member of the AHI family for more than 15 years. He's an accomplished travel professional and has accompanied AHI travelers on journeys throughout the world. Like all of us here at AHI, Mick is motivated to bring creativity, integrity, value, and excellence to all of our AHI travel experiences. I'm Mick Pluman, and I'm happy to be with you and to be your guide as we embark on this exciting adventure in lifelong learning and enrichment in coastal Maine and New Brunswick, Canada. AHI has crafted a unique week-long program that offers you the chance to explore, learn, and spend time assimilating the beauty and historical significance of this remarkable region. You'll start in the town of Bar Harbor, where accommodations await at the lovely Bar Harbor Inn. With just over 5,000 residents, it's an historic summer colony in the down east region of Maine. From the stonewall-lined and tree-covered road leading into town to the sweeping vistas from Cadillac Mountain, there is a special mystique to Bar Harbor. After taking some time to relax and freshen up, join your fellow travelers for a welcome reception and dinner. On your first morning in Bar Harbor, attend a fascinating talk and learn about the history and heritage of Bar Harbor and coastal Maine. Following the lecture, set out on an historical tour of Bar Harbor to see the town for yourself. Settled in 1763, and originally incorporated as the town of Eden in 1796, Bar Harbor has been home to lobster men, shipbuilders, artists, outdoor enthusiasts, and wealthy summer people. We're sure you will enjoy a visit to the Abbey Museum that celebrates the history and culture of local Native Americans. The four indigenous Indian communities in Maine are known collectively as the Wabanaki, or People of the Dawn Land. Each community maintains its own tribal government, community schools, cultural centre, and manages its respective lands and natural resources. It's all about the lobster this afternoon when you board a traditional lobster boat for an enjoyable and educational cruise. Learn about the life and work of Maine lobster men during a scenic cruise through Frenchman Bay. After a hearty breakfast, depart the hotel and motor to Acadia National Park to see the remarkable granite cliffs and mountains that rise abruptly from the Atlantic Ocean. 
a local naturalist will join you and provide fascinating narrative of the natural attractions found in this national treasure. Next, you'll cross the bridge into Canada to reach lovely Campobello Island. The late President Franklin D. Roosevelt spent many enjoyable summers at his vacation home on Campobello Island, located in New Brunswick's Bay of Fundy. AHI Travel has obtained special insider access to exclusive accommodations for three nights at the Campo Bello cottages built by wealthy members of society in the late 1800s. Tour the beautiful flower gardens and grounds with a local guide and learn about how the Roosevelts and other cottage families and guests spent their summers. Continue to FDR's 34-room cottage with your guide who will take you through the house, provide narratives and point out pieces of original Roosevelt family memorabilia. Discover why FDR referred to Campobello as his beloved island. A morning excursion features the beautiful natural areas that attracted the Roosevelts and others to the island. Drive the scenic carriage roads like Cranberry Point Drive and Fox Hill Drive. During the Roosevelt era, a system of carriage and Surrey roads provided access to points of interest in what is now either Roosevelt Campobello International Park or Herring Cove Provincial Park. A local historian will join the group and give a talk at the FDR Museum and Library as well as St Anne's Anglican Church. Today, learn about the non-profit Campobello Whale Rescue and Canada Whale Institute. You'll have a whale of a time with a seasoned whale-watching outfitter who will take you offshore to see these huge mammals, among the largest on Earth. Be on the lookout for humpbacks, finbacks, minkes, and the endangered right whale. With over 12 species of whales migrating to the Bay of Fundy each year, this is the place to see whales, seals and marine birds. Afterwards, you'll meet a local storyteller who will share the history and legends of the area's First Nation. You'll enjoy some leisure time this morning to follow your own path and explore the garden walks or go further afield on one of the nature trails. Perhaps you'd rather gather for a round of croquet or a hand of bridge and conversation on the large wraparound porch overlooking the bay. An al fresco lunch will be served at the cottage compound. Every day at 3 p.m. precisely, no matter where she was, Eleanor Roosevelt took tea. Learn about her life at an informative talk presented by a local Roosevelt historian at Hubbard Cottage titled Tea with Eleanor. This afternoon you're invited to an authentic New Brunswick lobster boil. A local guide will be on hand to provide instructions how best to enjoy your lobster. Depart Campo Bello for St Andrews by the Sea, an elegant and historic New Brunswick resort. You'll explore Quaddy Head State Park en route to St Andrews. See the dramatic coastline from the easternmost point of land in the United States and see the striking red and white striped lighthouse tower of West Quaddy Head Light. Built in 1808, West Quaddy Head Light's lamp and fog cannon warned mariners of Quaddy's dangerous cliffs, ledges and sail rock. Continue on to the St. Croix International Historic Site location of the beginning of the lasting French presence in North America, when French explorer Samuel de Champlain arrived at this site in 1604. St. Croix Island International Historic Site is composed of a mainland site as well as the uninhabited six and a half acre St. Croix Island. A short accessible trail features bronze figures of the French and Passamaquoddy people as well as displays that discuss historical events and the interaction of the two cultures is explained by a local ranger. Arrive at St Andrews by the sea. For picturesque charm and natural beauty, there are a few matches to this elegant maritime resort town. With status as a National Historic District, 
this charming New England-style town overlooks the Fundy Isles in the world-renowned Bay of Fundy, home to the highest tides in the world. Enjoy lunch and then check in at the historic Algonquin Resort. This afternoon, visit Kingsbury Garden, a 27-acre horticultural masterpiece designated one of the finest public gardens in Canada. The morning's excursion is about the historical connection between St. Andrews and its American neighbours. Great stories and significant places will be explored around town and within the National Historic District, just minutes from the Algonquin Hotel. St. Andrews has an interesting place in American history. It's here that post-colonial loyalists to the British Crown fled America, established themselves and prospered as mercantile traders. Enjoy a leisurely afternoon in the quaint downtown district of St. Andrews or relax in the remarkable gardens of Kingsbury. This evening, gather with new friends at the hotel for a festive farewell reception and dinner. During your journey, your AHI travel director will travel with you and will be available throughout to handle all of the details and deliver the high level of personal service that makes AHI a world leader in experience-oriented travel that focuses on lifelong learning and personal enrichment. And you'll enjoy your visit to coastal Maine and New Brunswick in the company of no more than 28 like-minded and curious fellow travellers. Selecting quality hotels has always been an AHI travel imperative, and we feel we've done a fine job selecting fine hotels that provide comfort, value and convenience. The Bar Harbour Inn sits next to Frenchman Bay near downtown Bar Harbour. You'll enjoy water view rooms and walk through the inn's superb eight acres of gardens. Local seafood is served in a restaurant that commands remarkable water views. The hotel has a spa, fitness room and a heated outdoor pool. Wi-Fi is available. The Campo Bello cottages are lovely turn-of-the-century homes within Roosevelt Campo Bello International Park. In the late 1800s, many wealthy American families built summer cottages on Campo Bello Island. The Roosevelt Cottage is flanked by two of these, the Prince and Hubbard Cottages. Good neighbours, the Roosevelts and Hubbards, enjoyed picnics, summer outings and sailing together. Across the road, the Wells Schober and Johnston Cottages are situated. All four cottages are outfitted with period furniture and antiques and have been renovated to include ensuite bathrooms and other modern conveniences. Guest accommodations here have been reserved at the Campobello cottages by AHI with exclusive permission from the local authorities. Since it opened in 1889, the Algonquin Resort inaugurated the town of St. Andrews by the Sea as Canada's first seaside resort. The hotel, which recently reopened after a year-long refurbishment, will take guests back in time while still offering every modern convenience. Enjoy water view rooms, a spa, indoor and outdoor pools, a gym, tennis courts, excellent cuisine, Wi-Fi throughout the resort, and much more. We know from years of experience that the informed and curious traveller looks for an enriching travel experience that offers background, context and structure. We offer learning opportunities like escorted excursions and lectures with compelling narrative while giving you the time to explore on your own. Travel is as much about our experiences as it is about the places we visit. You'll join a community of fellow travellers for a welcome reception and dinner. During your journey, you'll gather with fellow travellers for congenial meals where you can exchange stories of great experiences with new friends. You'll board a boat and learn about the life and work of the local Maine lobster men. On Campo Bello Island, you'll stay in exclusive period cottages and experience life as it was at the turn of a century.
but with more of the creature comforts we enjoy today. Search for whales on an exciting cruise on the Bay of Fundy with a local expert guide. Enjoy tea with Eleanor at Hubbard Cottage and hear a fascinating narrative on the life and times of Eleanor Roosevelt. Before leaving Campobello Island, enjoy dinner at a local lobster boil. And you'll enjoy a festive farewell reception and dinner on your last evening in St Andrews by the Sea. Learn about the heritage of Down East Maine and New Brunswick as you immerse yourself in the culture, history and natural beauty of this remarkable region with your accomplished travel director and the expert local lecturers and guides who will bring it all to life. I hope this presentation has piqued your curiosity about this exciting travel experience and that it inspires you to join us on this 10-day adventure in lifelong learning. Please take some time to visit our AHI Travel website, www.ahitravel.com, that will provide even more detail about this and other exciting worldwide travel opportunities. There, you can join our exciting Travel Insiders program and receive frequent travel updates and details about special offers, travel tips, and future travel presentations like this one. If you prefer, give us a call at 1-800-323-7373 and we'll be delighted to talk to you about this or another of our rewarding travel experiences. We'll also be happy to put a brochure in the mail to you. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you in coastal Maine and New Brunswick. In the meantime, happy travel.